You're going to want the, the seat heaters on to do it, though. Dave, man, this know, cold right? weather won't go away. It is cool. I don't know. You want to go to Georgia? Do you want to go to Mississippi? Do you want to get, I don't know, what's closest uh, state border? I've but, never, uh, I guess Georgia would be closest, but who probably. knows? Yeah. yeah. Depends on where you want to go. I just know I want the heat on. Yeah, it's cold no matter where you're going. However, it's much warmer right now compared to yesterday at the same time. Take a look at our new camera here over up in Coleman. You can see here this is looking to the south. And things are looking pretty good. A few clouds out there, a lot of sunshine this hour too, coming from Coleman Regional Hospital, where it's 41 there, but down I-65 to Birmingham, we're at 51. 44 Tuscaloosa, 50 Alabaster and Aniston coming in at 51 degrees. So again, a big spread of temperatures out there, and temperatures are 17 degrees warmer right now compared to yesterday at the same time. Asheville about 18 degrees warmer there. And and you can see throughout the day today, we are going to have a lot of sunshine. A few of those clouds you saw in the tower camera shot coming on in. Temperatures there about 52 degrees, then falling through the 40s to the upper 30s by 11 o'clock. But we're not going to get to the lower to mid 20s like we were this morning, thanks to some clouds expected to build in tonight. Right now, again, it's clear out there. High pressure is moving off to the northeast of us. So that starts to bring back more of those southeasterly winds. That clockwise flow around that high brings up those southerly winds. A few clouds to the south of us, but you can see more clouds to the west. They'll get here by tonight and it's all part of our next front. This one coming through the Plain States that's going to get here on Thursday and when it does it is going to bring a rain chance up to 60% out there, but things can get a little interesting with when this rain starts to come to an end and cold air moving in. Ah, uh, what does that mean? Well, we'll show you here in a second, but right now though, today's weather looking good. Temperatures in the lower 50s with that sunshine by tonight about say 11 o'clock. We're at 39. There's some of the clouds tomorrow morning. A new high pressure kind of builds in that moves out of here. Plenty of clouds tomorrow. A few breaks though, so we should get to 55 degrees. And then as we get into Thursday morning, we're starting off around 40 here. Rain to our west starts building in during the day. Here's 11 o'clock in the morning. We'll be in the lower 50s there, but here comes that cold front. So what we're going to deal with is scattered showers out there, not expecting any severe weather, but notice up here some pinks and blues. Yeah, that's some snow up there potentially across North Alabama. Once this front moves through, the tail end of this may try to bring us some wintry mix again. This is three o'clock Thursday afternoon will be 35 here. So we'll be interested to see how this plays out tomorrow's model runs and into Thursday mornings as well. And eventually that clears out quickly before we we fall down to the 20s. It's going to get really cold as we go beyond that time frame. So definitely look for some big changes. Speaking of the 20s, if you're heading up to uh, the national championship game, how about 20s for high temperatures next Monday? Early outlook there, mostly sunny, but definitely quite cold in Indianapolis. So 55 tomorrow, 52 Thursday with that front coming in, falling temperatures again down to 23. Again, some places to the north, maybe Gadsden, Coleman could have a little wintry mix, and then 41 for a high on Friday. All right.